Well, hold on. Oh, we, we can't go over there? Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Well, never mind. I thought that was open. Well, soon we'll be able to. Soon we'll be able to go do something. Is it is it great to have a free press and free speech, Alex? <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. What Kenny was talking about. All right, I'll go back down this way. Come on, let's go, everybody. We're, we're not going to do this much oh, longer. We just had to show everybody that you know we're not going to let them take over and not let us have free speech, and that's good. We've exercised it. It's been very successful, and most of the establishment media has already done their news pieces. I wanted to be nice and not do this to you, but I'll try to shoot it over your heads. Here we go. You state-run media in there are a joke, and people are awake and aware of what you're doing. We are sick and tired of your propaganda and all of your garbage, and we are aware of what you're doing, and we have more viewers and listeners today than any of your biggest stations by themselves. And there's more real media rising up all the time because people are hungry for the truth. The people are hungry for reality. They're hungry for choice. They don't want to be spoon-fed. That's why people fought back in the old Soviet Union and spoke out. And that's what we're doing. We're not letting you turn America by every yardstick into an authoritarian, oppressive system. And I want to salute the real independent media, not just here but worldwide, exposing the fact that John F. Kennedy was murdered by a conspiracy of criminals within the federal government and offshore banks to turn America into a system that can be extracted and enslaved, in the words of MSNBC former host Dylan Radigan. John F. Kennedy was murdered here 50 years ago today. His body wasn't even cold right now. 50 years ago today, and we are here to expose the reality of what went on here. And then they killed Martin Luther King, they killed RFK, they killed his brother. This is the reality, and that's why we're here standing up for free speech and standing against the 50-year establishment lie that one man killed John F. Kennedy here in Dallas 50 years ago. I officially declare the lie that a lone gunman killed Kennedy dead. Your fraud and the empire that you wanted to build globally off the blood, sweat, and tears of Americans is collapsing. This corporate empire has been at the expense of the American people and other people around the world. It is hurting our country, hurting our name, and we declare your new world order is dead. Your world government is falling. You can't just call us conspiracy theorists anymore and have us just shut up. The people know the truth, and we know we got a First Amendment, and we know we got a Tenth Amendment, and we know we got a Fourth Amendment, and we know the NSA. I used to tell folks how the NSA was spying, exactly how they were doing it 16 years ago. It was all declassified. It wasn't secret. How they set it all up. They had to fund it. They had to pass laws to get it. They were unconstitutional. And they would call me a conspiracy theorist. Now nobody's laughing. I exposed Obamacare by reading the legislation that it would double your prices and kick people off, written by foreign insurance companies to rape America. They said I was a conspiracy theorist. Now it all came true because it was in the bill. All I do is research what's really going on and tell the truth. And we're here to take America back, and I salute you all for being here. Yeah! No more lies. 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 <laughs> Dinosaur media is dead. 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 Yes. Oh. They've got the, the the reinforcements for the unruly crowd. Oh my goodness! 
They're here. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. No, we're not booing. What? Why are there more police? Are we evil? Or is it the joke about that guy's mustache? Time to leave. Go. Hey, man, what are you doing? Hey, they let us in here. Oh, so video take this. I'm going to fall back. All right, so it looks like they're pulling the police out and pushing everybody back. They're getting pretty tough. We're really, really? Really out of here. For people who are, are listening to us live, they've now, they let him in, and now they've got the police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted by police. Hey, you got to get off my cord, man. North Korean thugs. These are people who don't believe in the First Amendment. You guys are engaging in tyranny. Absolute disgusting. There it is, live. You can see it. All right, I've literally, literally had cops get up close where nobody could see, and then start punching me in the stomach. And I want video of them because I'm going to, I need video. Listen, yep. give me Josh because I want to videotape. All right, the they're guy. punching Alex right now. They literally sent guys wearing masks. This is the police state. Well, when the real revolution starts, yep. these guys are in trouble. Hey, why'd you, hey, why didn't you guys just, why did you guys let us in here to do that? Why they let us in and then assault us? What the hell is? Why did you let us in and then assault us? Hey, let's not. They let them in the area. They told them they could come in, and now they're coming in like they're trespassers, punching and shoving people. Look, they're real. Look, they got a guy up against the fence. You guys. All right, we're live in you guys Dallas. We're going to get sued big time. You know that, right? We still on air? Yep, we're still on air. This is unbelievable. The police, the police are punching people in the face. This is a Dallas police riot. Are we still on air, network? Yes, you are. Unbelievable, unbelievable. The police are completely mentally ill and insane, and they just punched somebody. You guys, hey, when the real revolution kicks off, good luck. You're really asking for it. Go ahead. Well, it is Dallas. It's oh, where yeah. we shoot our presidents. You guys are a bunch of coward punk wimps. Oh, listen, I want I want video of all these goons' faces. Look at those fat pigs. Oh, yeah, look at that guy. I want 400 the pounds, one. I want them five all. feet tall. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this. It's all on tape. You guys, you guys are unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable thugism. We are going back. I saw you guys punch that guy in the face for no reason. Unbelievable. This is the criminality, ladies and gentlemen, of the government. They are so angry that we came over there. They said they were supposed to let us in, and they let us in, and then they assaulted us without even asking us to leave. This is unbelievable, and I'm telling you, the, we have proven the tyranny now. We have absolutely proven. I am so shocked by the thug goon cops they sent that aren't even police that literally wanted to attack Americans, literally wanted to. And I'm telling you, I was so ready to, I mean, oh, it, after I, I Josh. You, this is unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Him. See it. All right, can you hear me, David Knight? I can now hear you. I can see it. I can see it. I see him shoving Josh. B.S. You guys are, you guys are a giant gang of whip punks. Hey, you bring your biggest goon cop out here, have him stand up against me. Huh? I guarantee you're a bunch of damn cowards. And I hope you enjoy the lawsuits you get. I'm telling you, this country is a bunch of authoritarian scum running it. We did absolutely nothing, and they got over here. My God, it was surreal when the police assaulted people. I saw them punch some guy in the face. They walked right up to me. Started, at first, when they got below the camera, one of those idiots punched me, sucker punched me in the stomach, thinking I'd fall right over. I saw, I saw it. They assaulted you. When they first they came up to me, knowing I'm the leader, and punched me in the stomach, but it wasn't even a big deal. I mean, what total wimps, man. The total, literal goon cops, tough guy cops. Huh? Nothing but a gang. Yeah, and yeah. The service is over for an hour, and then these goons show up and literally assault us. I'm going to go sit right over here for just a moment and regroup with everybody and get my video cameras and make sure. Do we still have feeds going out, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, you do. Get pictures oh, of their faces. Get pictures of their faces.
Get the hey, faces of these gangs, gang ass. members here. They would have started shooting us in Tiananmen Square. Would have started. I'm telling you, 1776 almost started right there. Because if we had started beating their ass, they're cowards, they'd have shot us. And I was literally thinking about when the cops walk over and one punches me in the stomach before they even started pushing, I literally thought right there, do we want 1776 to start? Because those cowards would have started shooting people, including children. Then they would have made crap up. I mean, those guys were a bunch of goons who thought they and it was a white guy, a short, big white guy walked up first, and he got right there, and he goes, pow, right in my stomach. Then they started pushing everybody. They wanted me. They wanted, and then they were shoving some guy's head in the wall. Who could, they got him cornered. They pushed a little girl. Yes, they pushed the little girl. They pushed everybody. Hey. Bunch of thugs. Hey, you guys really are looking for a fight, aren't you? Hey, man. Yep. Hey, stop. Stop violating the First Amendment. That's a bunch of bull. Hey, you guys. For those of you just joining, Alex and the demonstrators were allowed into this area and they were standing around peacefully for about 10, 15 minutes. And then a bunch of thugs wearing cop uniforms came out and started punching people. Hold on, stop, stop. Let's see if they want to leave. You guys fucking cowards. You're fucking cowards. All right, we're going to skip this break. We're going to keep going. This is a near riot as the police are pushing people out that they formally let in. Look at you. You're not cops. You're thugs and pieces of crap. Gangsters in uniform. You didn't even ask us to leave. So you started shoving people and stomp. I saw you stomp on some fire. This is why they call Dallas the city of hate. Serious stuff over that street there. You got to move the street. I want that big gorilla white guy that punched me in the stomach get over here. He's a whip. He doesn't take his stuff off. I'll kick his ass. Come on. You're so tough. I guarantee you want to fight right now. Bunch of cowards. I'm going to find that guy. I got video of it. They're just waiting until we wear ourselves out. All they do is train to hurt America. All they do is train to dominate innocent people. All they do is train. It's a bunch of crap. This is the biggest group of absolute mental behavior I've ever seen. 1736! Oh, this guy. These are the type of guys that love to have to learn spy on everybody. Right, for those of you listening on the radio, this is hey, we're Dallas. We're putting you in our intelligence file. This is Dallas, and they previously let Alex and the demonstrators in peacefully, and then they attacked them after they got him in. Another group of cops came out, started punching. This is really getting out of control, folks. I got to really think. Of, I thought you were with the police. You were the police, buddy? Anyways, my whole point is, is that, can you hear me, David Knight? Can hear you. I got to think about what I want to do here because I've almost gotten a fight like three times with the cops. I mean, if I, I think we got the fact you were describing a guy that was really fat. In the stomach. I, I literally have got to get out of here. I'm going to start. I mean, I just can't handle this anymore. This country is so screwed up, man. We got to really mourn for this nation. They they're supposed to let us in. We go in. The cop, the head cop, checks. Yeah, let them in. Some other cops said you weren't supposed to let them in. Then they come over. All these goons show up, and I go, no way. We don't know what they're here for. They walk up. They get in my face. And then one of them, punch, one of them before it all starts, goes, uh, and hits me in the stomach. Then they start the pushing. They knew cameras couldn't get that. And then they're trying to make me hit them or get mad so they could do something. And it was all set up, all their little plan. They, they probably let us in so they could do that. Then, then when it wasn't enough, they came over here to start another fight with us. They kept pushing us back. And why are they behind the line? Why were they behind the line? They kept pushing us back. That's what they've been doing for 50 years in Dallas. To kind of cover up in-your-face thugs. Run over as well. The, little girl. the little, little girl was on her dad's shoulders, and they almost got trampled. She was crying. It broke my heart, man. She was scared to death. Tell you, that's how it's going to start, like in V for Vendetta. If she'd have busted her head open or something, 1776 would have started. The globalists better back the hell off. They're a bunch of nuts. They're a bunch of criminals. I'm telling you, man, this country is that close, ladies and gentlemen. That close. One more proof.
What? I saw him mean. shoving some little, like, look like a five-year-old. I was crying on the ground. They had no legal right. This little is exactly girls. what they've been training for, and we're the enemy. Yeah, yeah. And they're treating us just like we're the enemy, just like they've been taught. Hey, it's us. There's a police brutality marks that just joined us. Kind of a rope-a-dope move to let everybody you in, guys, say they're going to be allowed in, and then attack the police them. police something here. Yeah. I'm going to tell well, whoever called in that goon squad, you could have even told us to leave like we would have done, we would have left. It was shameful, and you guys are worse than North Korean thugs. I have, I have seen the enemy, and you people are idiots. And the country is going to collapse, and, and, and believe me, the American people are going to bring you to justice. You all think you're invincible. You all think you all got it together. You are going to pay big time. I, I'll tell you right now, it was incredibly, disgustingly shameful that you guys tried to start a fight. You guys are total, you guys are total wimps. You guys are total wimps. I guarantee you, you got this job so you can pick on people. You think you're tough. Absolutely disgusting. It is, it, they, they keep videotaping. We need to get video. Get the live feed. I'm telling you right now. This is unbelievable. These cops yeah, want to physically they attack they us. Don't. They hate Americans. They hate anybody that doesn't work for their criminal mafia government. They absolutely think they're tough. They absolutely just think, I mean, when the revolution comes, man, you're deep crap. That's all I got to say right now. I'll tell you right now, I mean, the fact that you'd want to sit here and attack people and go after people and do all of this is just absolutely unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. These are the I kind of gangster believe. thugs that they want to give a monopoly of guns to. Where's the spy right there? Where's your gun? Hey, is that the one that punched me in the stomach right there? Hey, are you the one that punched me in the stomach? Are you the one you think you're... Hey. Give me your card. You want to meet me in some seat? Think you're tough? Think you kick my ass? What you guys got all your legal files? Look my ass up. I'll take you and ten of your buddies off right now. Pull your fucking shirts off and see what happens, punk. You're a coward. You're a coward. You're a coward. You are a coward. You want to punch people when you think you can get away with it. Are you the one? Get that sheriff's deputy's badge number. I'm going to go check the tapes. You, hey, you might even David beat the rap, but you're not going to beat the ride, pal. You have to. I'm going to get your jet skis, and I'm going to get your best I can't wait. You're the one. You think 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 you're I have never seen such cowardly BS in my life to a nice, friendly crowd of people. I have never seen anything like this. This is directly out of Tiananmen Square. This is incredibly shameful. Hey, 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 guys, we've already, we've already shown how screwed up this is and how the First Amendment's under attack. I think we need to leave now. Everybody get video of these guys so we can identify every one of them. Okay? That's right, take their pictures. Yeah, we're getting it all. Get their mug shots. They're nothing but a bunch of common criminals wearing a uniform. Well, man, I couldn't believe it. We've already got it. We'll put it on the TV and everybody will give it to us. It's a bicycle unit from the... Let me see it, Jacobson. Here, hand me that. I got it. Hand me that. I'm going to sue you for sure now. Okay? Oh, they're tough. That's why they go and that's why they go get a job where they can be in a gang. I don't need a gang. I can't believe. This is unbelievable. We already have his badge. We got it over there earlier. Anyways, this guy's unidentified right here. I'll tell you why you're a coward. If I punched you in the stomach right now, you and your goons would try to jump on me and break my back. That's how cowards operate. I mean, I can't imagine being that big of a wimp, man. I mean, I cannot imagine wanting to. Be, I mean, it's, I'm not a bully. I just don't understand it. It's all good. 60 million people know who you are now, brother. 60 million. More like 3 million today. But... Look, you'll be able to find it all out, document them all. I'm not even sure. I, I think he's the one.
Uh, yeah, but I mean, one of them punched me when I wasn't doing anything. Uh, they they tell us to go over there, we push them right back. They baited us. You baited us. This is a trap. They're all getting sued. Live from Dallas, this is Alex Jones. And they just allowed everybody, all the peaceful demonstrators in, and then attacked them. Here we go, guys. This is incredible. Yeah? I think it was him, yeah. It doesn't matter. You, look, your, your bank accounts, everything are going to be liquidated soon. The globalists are coming after everybody. America's falling. That's what this is about. That's right. Where was the security 50 years ago? No, it's only here for the American people. Well, I've definitely had enough fun with these crazy people. My God, they literally sent a goon squad over there. No feeling, Well, no, they wanted to beat us up. They wanted to attack us. And I'm sorry I started blowing up a little bit and cussing, but I was just on the very edge of starting to, man, I tell you. Those guys are such cowards. They wouldn't do that in person with somebody. No, they only do it when they're in a big group like that. Let me tell you, folks, we've seen the enemy now. They've trained that we're the enemy. They are our enemy. They want to be our enemy. At least that group of people did right there. They absolutely are mentally ill. We're over there laughing, having fun, about to leave, and then all these guys come running up aggressively and start shoving and pushing us. I even saw some of the other cops going, what are you doing? I saw the other police going, what are you doing? They let us in, and then they did that to us. Absolute, to sorry, absolute, total, and complete horse crap. Hey, Alex, can you hear me? And I know the police are listening on 104.1 right now, so I can talk to the police department directly. This is the most mentally ill, dumb thing I have ever seen in my life. That, that we're supposed to go in there, we were supposed to be part of the deal, and then they literally assault us after they let us in and we're over there being nice. I mean, that is absolutely incredible. This We just saw a Dallas police riot, ladies and gentlemen. We literally just saw mental illness on display. All right, folks, walk with me back this way. I personally am just absolutely blown away that they let us in. The newspaper said at the end of the ceremony, we'd be let into the main area at 2.30 for the ceremony. And then, do you know what just happened over there? I mean, this is mental illness because COPA filed the lawsuit, then they took it back. They said when it was over, the main groups could go in, whoever wanted. And then at 2.30, we could go on to the area for our own wreath laying. Those cops were all nice. Everything was fine. We then, they let us in. We're just sitting over there laughing about to leave if they didn't hurry up and let us in there. And like 15 goon-like cops running. The other cops go, what, what are you doing? They all run up. One of them starts, I guess, trying to provocateur, like, punching me in the stomach, not just pushing me. I, and I was in shock at that point. There was, like, little girls, people's shoulders, knocking people down. One guy didn't even resist them. They, were, they had him pinned up against a sign. That was literally, literally what I see in third world countries. That was crazy. We weren't even yelling at them. We weren't even saying anything. A few people, like, booed because they, they were you know, obviously showing up to attack us. We're like, ooh. And the other cop was like, no, it's all right. And then they attacked us. I mean, what the hell just went on? Do you want your kids growing up in a country like that? What is your name, sir? That's a cop. Anyway, she won't say anything. They just stare. That's My creepy. My whole point is, is it's this culture into the police that you see in a third world country. They don't even say sir to the public. I say sir to everybody. I'm from Texas. They literally, the average police, especially in big cities, are literally, they're doing psychological tests, whatever, get programming in the authoritarian model and type. And they're not, I mean, most, I have a lot of cops listen to my show. They're really nice, give us a lot of good tips and stuff. But it's, it's like the mob psychology of whoever called in those cops to literally assault people. And folks almost fought back. And then if a kid gets hurt or something in the, in the, in the atmosphere of this country, you know what's going to happen. Folks, it's 1776. It's so close. And I do everything on my radio show. I guess the police obviously around here don't listen and don't know. To try to, with all the military and all the special warfare people that are just waiting and getting ready, and they say they're going to go out for the tip of the spear of the police when it all starts. And I'm saying, no, we need to take the country back peacefully. And I just hope all the police up there listening and watching who wanted to play Rambo and play tough guy, I hope you understand that when you push us, you take our guns, you do this. America won't just be run over by goons forever and shoved up against walls and little girls crying like this Tiananmen Square. You guys need to know that. So I literally just got radicalized 10 more levels today. I mean, I'm telling you, because nothing was going on. We're standing around laughing, and then, and then the other cops when the goons ran up were like, what are you doing? And it was just, and they didn't say you need to go. 
They just started shoving everybody. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Most everybody's gone home. Great job, everybody. I'm leaving. And it's really sad that the First Amendment did pretty well here today until now, and I am completely shocked. So, and they're taking all our other rights, and they're taking up the pension funds, all the liberties going, all the prosperity, all the due process. America is dying. America is dying. It's very sad. Come on, folks. We tried to do the best we could. We tried to do the best we could. Man, I am just totally depressed and totally freaked out for this country. God, we're in trouble. This country is so screwed up. I mean, it's one thing if you got a bunch of people out yelling at cops, throwing things something to have the cops do that this was literally we're standing around admiring some cops giant mustache we're making jokes we're you know we're talking about the whore media and literally like 15 guys run up most of our crowd had already left out of for hours in the rain and this one really goonish one like look like an ex-convict type but you know i mean those guys all did look like criminals i mean i i just this country i'm living in clockwork orange here all right we're going out to break here in a minute David and I, we're going to keep transmitting until I get back. And I tell you, this is just absolutely disgusting. It was the sheriff that attacked us. It was the sheriff. The sheriff's, yes. Yeah, sheriff. yeah, it was the sheriff's. Sheriff's deputies. Wasn't the... He goes, it was the sheriff. In the last 50 years.